know. I played it the day it came out. Okay, then let's go beyond that. How recently, overall? I played it today against you, like 20 minutes ago. Liar. I did not do that well, but let's kick it off right into it. Looks like they're still opting for Pokemon Stadium. Same characters. Must have been a uh, controller mishap before or something. Okay, uh, just playing the neutral right now. Um, I feel like Cernos needs to be more careful with his Thunder Jolts this time, as Fox does have the option of the Reflector. Granted, Pichu is a fast enough rushdown character where he could punish him for using that. It's still not as viable as, as it's been in other matches. True, true. Fox yeah. still does have a lot of the speed to match him up with, uh, here. He can keep up with like quite a bit of the combos and break it whenever he needs to. He lands with quite a few good jabs there. Keeps the pressure up on the shield. Ooh, he's landing a lot of hits really quickly, but is quickly punished by one of the bolt tackles there. Is Sought into a uh, up throw. Doesn't follow up with a Thunderbolt though. Punished for throwing out that down smash. Oh, but he doesn't get the final hit. That's unfortunate. Let's see, he gets Pichu off stage, but it's Pichu. He's coming back. You or he's going to mess it up. I guess he's just bad. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. They're all better than me. But. Uh, true, true. Valiant effort though by the Pichu as he comes back here. Sends a little poke his way. See, the that's what I was talking about. Yeah, the reflector. reflector punish. Okay. Pichu too short to get hit by the lasers. Small boys, by the way. <laughs> Uh, Ducks make, taking advantage of those combos, even despite Pichu's small size. It's a mini Ooh. juggle, but into a spike. Oh, Fat my spike. goodness. Fat spike. That evens, not evens it up, as Pichu is at kill percent, Ooh. but that opened it up right there. Definitely a way to start tilting the series back. Gets like, the up tilt, or er, up smash, I'm sorry. Sends it into the nether, but we're back here, evened out a little bit. Duck's still sitting at 44% here. Is, uh, let's see if he can match up the poke. He uses the Phantasm to kind of reset the neutral game. Pichu using his the low lag on his dash attack to just follow up after he misses the one. And just his aerial game is so strong, he needs to try and hold that over Fox, I think. I think, I think he hasn't beaten that department. He just needs to be wary of Fox's up air, well, if Duck, anything. Ducks broke the ledge guard here. Let's see if he can hold it up here. And gives Pichu a little bit of the space back, but he's still keeping up the pressure. He's dancing around with him a little bit. Ooh, but gets Ooh, caught in the gets side caught smash by the last there. hit, yeah. Puts the pressure on the shield there. Ooh, it comes top of the yeah, up smash. I think though. what Ducks has noticed from seeing Cernos play is he really likes that down smash and the angle it sends people at, at the ledge. So he's using a lot of neutral get up shield to avoid getting hit by that. Ooh, but he gets caught by the side smash and is sent out of the net. Right, so Ducks is really looking to just close out the stock here. You can see him throwing out the four, or up smashes, trying to take away Pichu's life. Shield almost broke. Ooh, he catches him with the back air. Good good stuff from Ducks right there. Really solid execution. You were saying there, Chris Dan, what was Ducks really focusing on in that Pichu gameplay? Because we, we saw the Pichu mop early on with the ledge guard. It was just unbeatable. He couldn't really get back at all. But how do you think Ducks broke that? I, like I said, I really think it was the neutral get-up shield that we've been seeing. A lot of people have been trying to roll to avoid that uh, down smash, but Pichu's down smash just covers a huge amount of area on the stage. And with that coverage, it's been catching the rolls people have been doing, knocking them back off stage until eventually Cernos found himself getting the kill. And with what Ducks is doing right now, he's really doing a good job avoiding that. All right, well, let's, let's, we're going to send it into Battlefield here. Um, do you think we're going to see the same characters set again? Most likely, yes. Ooh, Ooh nest. Potential, yeah, he's locking to the nest back here. He is. I think he wants to play the zone game a little bit more harder here. Doesn't want to take the yeah. early aggressive fights with them. Ness also does really well in the air. He just needs to be wary. If he gets caught in a situation where he needs to use his um, up special to recover, Fox can reflect that. So that may potentially result in some early stocks. Ooh, gets caught in the PK fire there, up to a 40% there, but breaks the, breaks, breaks the chain there for just a moment. Catches Ooh. him with another PK fire. Good grab. He's applying pressure with the up special. Missed the punish there on the trail on there of the up but... Ooh. Knocks himself so away to avoid getting punished. Smart. And he acknowledges that he's SDIing out of the PK fires. So he chases with the dash attack. And Ducks has got caught in three of these PK fires here, and really that damage stacked up already. Stacked at about like 70% something mm -hmm. damage on him already. Ooh. That's what we were talking about, reflecting the up special. Ducks doesn't need the dodge if it can't hit him. <laughs> Ooh, gets Almost taking Ness's stock right there. Right, gets the grab, probably back off stage, yes. Can he keep the ledge guard? Oh, he gets the oh, tech. Beautiful tech, but that's what I was talking about. And this is up special. Oh, I had melee flashbacks there for a second with the with the shine gimps. Oh yes. boy. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that was pretty good. Oh, uh, piece of pressure here. Let's see if uh, let's see if Cernos can finish up the rest of the I feel like that was here. a misinput throwing out that um, down special there from Ness. Fox was just too close. Didn't have any reason to laser. 
Dux is definitely doing work with the damage here. He's already gotten yeah. up to 80% and the ledge guard locked down. Ooh, he breaks it out. Builds yeah, opts space. to drop from ledge and hop back up. That's actually going to kill from that side of the stage. Off the top. What a strong throw. Ness's back throw is actually, I believe, the second strongest back throw in the game. Second only to Incineroar. Well, we know about the suplex. Yes, we do. The power suplex. Oh, another PK fire caught in there. Into another grab. Stacking the damage pretty quickly here on Dux. Good and pressure. And Cernos keeps us around. All right. Let's see, trying to probably get a grab combo on Ducks would be my best guess. Quickest way to build damage with a PK fire to down throw to fairs is uh, one of Ness's best damage building options. Um, at this point though, probably, ooh, ooh, gonna get caught by the up smash. That is one dangerous thing about Fox because he is so fast. If you find yourself floating in the air above him too long, that he will just run underneath an up smash. But again, Ness responding with a back throw, taking the stock. The back throw is really proven to be his kill secure here as he's getting all this poke pressure down with the PK fires and the up specials. He's getting all the zoning pressure in, but then he really just wants to bait him into the engage and then send him out. Mm -hmm. Good up air chain. Let's see. Ooh, not going to take this. It might take one or two more of those to take the stock at that height. Oh, we got good. it. Oh, yeah. he's in it. Very good. Ledge get up. See if he can zone him out here. He's Catch fishing him. for a PK fire because he knows he needs to build the, he needs to build the damage. He needs that zone damage here yeah. before he can apply any real pressure. Oh, that oh, was that's not the play. Oh, but punish. just punish. Yeah. All right, well, it's getting close to killing. Caught in the juggle again. Will he send him out of here? Put the pressure on him on towards the ledge. Yeah, if you notice, Ducks is trying to play more of an aerial game to avoid getting caught by that PK fire. But you see right there, he got caught by it and an immediate 50% just added. Yeah. He's gonna have to go aggressive a hero Ooh, one point or shield. another. That unfortunately, in previous games, the Phantasm does go through your shield. In this iteration of Smash, it does not. Oh, he's dead. oh unfortunately, the dodge does not get him to the ledge, and Ducks will pick up that that man. It's from Ducks. Mission Coming on in winners top eight.